What's up guys, it's your boy Malcolm Eugene here and today is gonna to be not your typical talking head video. Basically, I've been getting a lot of questions about what my setup is, what my rig is when I'm going out shooting events and today I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown and build of my everyday, my personal everyday run and gun rig for when I'm out shooting Comic Con events or any kind of music festival or music event show or whatever. Of course, let's jump into it right after this. So the camera that I'm using is the Sony a7 III. Now this camera changed pretty much the entire landscape of the mirrorless market when it was released. It's been a staple in my camera kit for the past couple of years now. I uh, love the image quality I get out of it for video, uh, for photos and everything. And it is coupled with the Tamron 28 to 75 lens. I love the image quality I'm able to get out of this lens and how light it is compared to others. Now, I know Sigma released a 24 to 70. That's also not a bad lens, but I do like how light this is. And that's the reason why I bought this. Light, sharp, easy to work with, amazing for the kit. Now, you'll notice that both the camera and the lens are wrapped in some sort of material. So this are, these are the, the guards from Lifeguard uh, that I have wrapped on the lens and the camera. And besides the stylish look, I like that it does help protect from little dings and scratches that could happen out on the field. And I like looking different than everybody else. So yeah, Lifeguard wraps on my camera. So the first accessory I recommend people get, or at least that I got for my build, was a camera cage. I like mounting things to my camera, but you're limited without such because you only have one hot shoe to mount things to. The first thing I got was a camera cage, and I got the small rig half cage for the a7 III. I like it because it's not too bulky. I feel like if you were to get the entire or at least the whole cage for it, it always felt a little too bulky for me. So another thing I like about the, the half cages and has really been the biggest selling point for me is that it's its own quick release system. So basically you put a plate on the bottom of the camera and then you put it into the cage like so and you lock it down there at the side and you're good to go. For me, if I'm out shooting video and then all of a sudden I need to do like a quick photo shoot, I don't have to have all the extra accessories attached to the cage. Take the camera out real quick, boom, snap my shot, snap my shot, snap my shot, good to go. There are multiple cages for the a7 III that are half cages from Small Rig. The reason I got this one, this is the Arca Swiss one, but the reason I got this one, if you're not familiar, if you're, or if you are familiar, the Peak Design Quick Plate here, I usually run these on my belts and backpacks, but this particular plate here slides right on there, just like their proprietary plates, and that's not going anywhere. So I found that used to be a huge selling point to why I got this one. So anyways, let's put this camera inside the cage. There's a little lever here. You'll probably see it here, little lever. You hold that down, slide the camera in, like so. Um, it's a little safety, so it's not gonna like fall out or anything, but you do wanna lock it down here on the side. So now, now you're in there for good. Like I said, Tamron 28 to 75, 67 millimeter filter thread, if you wanna apply any kind of filters here. I have a step up ring uh, attached because I like to apply bigger filters than what the actual lens is. So I like shooting with variable NDs, you know, especially if I want to shoot at lower f-stops. So being able to cut back on light on the fly and only using one filter really, really speeds up my workflow. Variable ND filter that I have on my camera right now is the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon Edition 6 to 9 stop variable ND. This has been my go-to variable ND for the past year now, and I really love the image quality that I get out of it. Right behind this, actually, that little red ring there, this is actually the Alter Rapid Filter System. Basically, that just flips up like that. So what that allows me to do is, if I'm running from outside to indoors, I don't have to unscrew this thing. I can just flip that up, and I'm good to go. Because running and gunning, you know, time is money. 
So about saving all the time I can by doing that. So yeah, definitely love that there. Anyways, so let's talk more about this cage here. So this cage, I have equipped it with a lot of NATO accessories. And NATO is kind of small rigs, uh, quick release system for different accessories. And quick release, like I said, just kind of speeds up the workflow when you're out there in the field. So on top, I have a NATO rail here. Uh, the side of the cage is an actual NATO rail, and a lot of my accessories that I have here are gonna be NATO compatible, if you will. So one more thing, side, I have this clamp here for, for cord management. Definitely comes in handy for, for when you have a microphone and your HDMI and even a uh, external battery charger. You know, there's just a lot that can go on here, so being able to manage your cords, it, this thing right here is a lifesaver. But anyways, back on NATO. I'm gonna attach my top handle also by small rig. You'll also notice that on the end of here, I do have a NATO uh, rail on here as well, and I will show you why here shortly. Let's lock that down there. Now I have a top handle, and I think that feels really, really good in the hands now. All right, let's attach the side handle. Once again, another NATO accessory. Also has another NATO rail that I put on top of this as well. So this one here is just gonna go on the side of the camera. So I'll flip this over. And like I said, this here is a NATO rail itself. I will just slide that on, lock it down. Now I have side handle, top handle, and I am, I'm pretty much good to go here. Now I, I, wanna, I wanna start attaching things to these NATO rails. So First things first, the monitor that I use, Atomos Ninja 5. Great quality, reason I bought it is because I'm still waiting for that A7S 3 or S4 or S17. Whenever it comes out, I'm, I wanna make sure I'm ready. So I actually put a small rig cage around the monitor itself because it does give it more NATO capability because NATO here, NATO here, and of course more mounting options for different things that you may wanna add there. Um, of course on the side, got an HDMI clamp there just because you don't want this pulling out in the field on accident and then yeah, things happen. But in order to attach this to this, I have this, this little bracket. Basically, it's NATO on both sides, as you can see, NATO on both sides and basically just slides on, just slides on there, NATO. And the reason why I went with this one, I'm not like a quarter 20, and I'll show you this. There on the side, you'll notice directly in the middle, you would have to use either a 3 8 screw or one of the um, Ari locking pin screws, which I didn't really opt to use the Ari pin. So if you're running a, a a quarter 20, you're gonna wanna put it in one of these holes and then of course your monitor is gonna be off center from there. And I don't like being off center. So, need a one here. Lock it down. Then, like I said, there's a NATO rail on the top handle here. Basically this. I just slide on. lock it down, and now I have a, a fully tilting and pivoting monitor mount. This gives me full flexibility of that without having to worry about ball heads coming untwisted or, or anything like that, so I do like the sturdiness of that. The microphone, anyway, is the next thing. And a lot of people, they want with their Rode video mic pros and all that, and it's great, but I really, really liked the Asden mic. I believe this is the SMX30, I wanna say. And basically, this is basically the same as what the video mic pro can offer uh, with the cool, you plug this in, put it on auto, and it's on when the camera's on and when the camera's off, it shuts off, so you don't have to worry about, one, wasting battery, and two, um, not having the mic on when you need to record. So yeah, this has been a very, very good mic, and 
The main thing I like about this is that you can record in stereo and mono. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, you can record in stereo and mono. So where I actually mount this, I mount this here on the side handle, like so. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much the rig. But you remember when I told you about maybe you don't want to have all this stuff connected to, maybe, maybe you want to just run and gun it, you know, lighter setup. Well, this half cage, I'm telling you, man, it is a game changer. Just unlock that latch there, pull that right on out, and now you have your camera brains right here and you are even more run and gun with this here without the monitor, without the mic, and all that. And if you, and when you're ready to go back to your full rig, just lock her down, like so, and you're good to go. With that said, my name is Malcolm Eugene. I am out. What's up, guys? Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm posting next.